I wake up and I don't know where I am. I'm covered in sweat, bruises on my arms and legs, eyes wet with tears I can't explain. Is there anyone there with you? I'm alone. I'm always alone when I wake up. Another day, a week, a month will pass. Everything will be fine. Then it will happen again. And I don't know how I got there. I don't know anything. These blackouts, Claire, do you have any idea what could be triggering them? No. No idea. You're absolutely sure they're not lifestyle. No drinking or drug use before. Jesus, them. no! Just try and relax. There's nothing here to suggest epilepsy. So I'm gonna go ahead and write your prescription for hitting the sale and we'll see how things go. That's a work. I've got a few other things I'm interested to try. Possibly put you under observation. getting all the little details right. It's a real zen and balance to it. I mean, to the outsider, I'm sure it all looks like chaos, but to me, it all makes sense. I told you. Balance. Balance. Right. Head needs balance. Claire. I saw the doctor again today. You did? You saw the doctor? Yeah. You... Not that it helped any. He just gave me more pills and told me to get over it. What kind of pills? Did mom ever experience anything like this? I mean, could it be something biological or? Not that I know of, Cupcake. And I know I never have. But that doesn't mean it's not in the family. It's possible somebody on my side or your mother's side was sleepwalking too and just never talked about it. You should put something up online and ask for solutions. Dad, it's not sleepwalking, I told you! I know. Claire, I'm sorry. I know how hard this is for you. What if it's a tumor or something pressing against my brain? What if it's something really serious? What if Claire! It's... The scan didn't show anything. That doesn't mean anything! Okay? It's not sleepwalking! I've already had to miss the start of freshman year because of this shit! I shouldn't be here, Dad! I should be studying, drinking, being with friends! I shouldn't be stuck in this house all the time! I, I shouldn't be... You are where you need to be. Alright? There's no point in beating yourself up about this. You are where you need to be right now. You need to be home. This is where I'm gonna fall asleep. And this is where I'm gonna wake up. This is where I'm gonna fall asleep. And this is where I'm gonna wake up. This is where I'm gonna fall asleep. And this is where I'm gonna wake up.
again. I was here. I was right here and it happened again. Claire, you've got to calm down and we've got to clean out those cuts on your Calm life. down? Calm down? How the hell am I supposed to calm down? My meds aren't working. There is blood on my hands. Shit is spiraling out of control and you want me to calm down. Just stop moving and try to take a deep breath. Dad, I don't think I was alone out there. Claire, come on. No, I could feel it. Someone or something was out there with me. Who else would be out there with me? I you? don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm crazy. I'm crazy, aren't I? Look at me. You're not crazy. You're fine. Look at me. You'll be all right. Look I'm at sorry. me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want to be like this. I don't want it. And I can't make it stop. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Dad. I can't do it anymore. We're going to do this together. We're going to get through this together. I love you. I love you. It's a good idea to take something like this on with your medical situation. My medical situation? Dad, I haven't had a blackout in over three months now. What am I supposed to do? Just sit around here forever hoping they don't come back? I've got to get out of here. I've got to do something. I've got to... Claire! Look, I'm not going to tell you not to do anything. It's just... I don't know. It's a lot. It's community college! It's half an hour away. You're going to do that drive back and forth seven days a week? It's four days a week. Yes, and there'll be a ton of homework and stress. Look, I just don't want you to get overwhelmed. You've been making such progress. Now I have to try to do things! Mom wouldn't have wanted me to be scared. Your mother abandoned us.
on here, Claire. Just you, me, and this dead son of a bitch. <laughs> Oh, come on, Cupcake. We've been here before. I know all your hidey places. <laughs> you see one of the boys or some evidence or something, and you get all horrified and shocked. Then we go out to the woods and bury the body, and when we're finished, baby, it's like your brain can't handle it, and you black out. Come on. Come on. Stop struggling. You killed him? You killed the guy? Yes, yes, I did. And now you're going to help me bury the body. You're just as complicit in this as I am. There's no need to feel guilty. Believe me, those creeps all deserved it. I know how guys are. Trying to get in girls' pants, trying to paw at you, trying to steal you away like that bastard stole your mother. I'm not gonna let them get your hands on you. They're not gonna take you. to feel guilty. In a couple of minutes, you won't even remember any of this. Anything else? After a while, you don't even remember the names. You're sick. You are so sick. I've heard that one before from you. You're a monster. Monster. You're evil. evil. Disgusting. Horrible. Psychotic. I've heard it all from you. All of it. And then your mind will seize up, and in the morning you'll come looking for Daddy to come comfort you and watch over you and protect you. And I will because I love you. I hate you. I hate you! I love you. I love you. And no matter what's happened here tonight, in the morning, you'll love me too, and you won't want to leave. Okay, time to get out of here. I'll hug you in the morning. to be I get so lonely without you.
dad.